look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fighting yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out And sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some And sometimes you won't But we could be say is everything it is frustrating when when what we're looking for shows up after we need it that seems to happen all too often doesn't it we may often feel like we cannot trust that our needs will be met in a timely manner but we can trust that God is aware of our needs and our desired timetable that does not mean that he will show up and reveal himself in the way that we ask when we ask, but we can trust that his timing is a bit more impeccable than our own. When um, we do not hold the fullest picture of our lives, God is better suited at deciding what the right place at the right time actually means for us. All we need to do is trust his judgment. Timing might feel like it is everything, but the timing is not always our own. Boom. Cheers to that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine. I am a certified life coach. If you are new here, I love everything wellness, self-improvement, self-development, just growing into our higher selves, growing into the people that God has placed us here to be. Today, I actually just want to speak about um, if you are not feeling motivated. This is this is something that I've been dealing with since 2020, <laughs> since COVID. Since COVID set our asses down, y'all. I was one of those people that was on a go, 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 go. Okay, motivation, ambition, all of that was not an issue for me, was not a problem for me. However, when, when we had this new way of life and we were all able to really just sit down and really just think, just really had time to breathe, I think that caused a lot of us to really be like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in this hustle, bustle, same routine, same thing, go to work, sit in traffic for two hours out of my day, come home, 
eat, cook the same shit, eat the same stuff. And it's just like, it was just, I feel like it was just so robotic. And I feel like a lot of us just got to a point where we were just like, wow, I can't believe I was doing that. And then in the mix of that, I was working out. I had, you know, my two kids. Like, it was just, I don't know how I did all the things that I did. However, when we was able to sit down, you guys, it was like kind of a breath of fresh air. Like, wow. Like, I could really, I could smell the air. I could, I could appreciate the sunlight. Like, it was a, it was a good, it was a good, like, reset, I believe, for all of us. Uh, well, not, not all of us, but some of us. And, yeah, after, after doing that, after sitting down, it was so hard. It has been, I'm gonna say it has been, because if I'm still dealing with it, it has been difficult for me to get back try to figure out what motivates me, try to figure out what it is I love to do, want to do, um, trying to find the inspiration to really um, go after certain goals. So that's what I want to talk about today. I listened to a podcast the other day and it hit me so hard and I hope um, I can just convey it to you guys and hopefully it touches someone. All right, let's get into it. So I have my notes here from the podcast that I listened to. All right, so when we know okay so this is this is the quote that he said that really hit me hard okay so he said when we no longer have pain in our lives it takes away the urgency and the drive to do anything y'all that hit me so hard because i have been trying to figure out why is it that i cannot stick to my goals i'll i'll be the person that makes the plans i'll be the person especially at the beginning of the year set all the goals and everything like that but it 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 just it's just like i can't it was just no urgency to get them done or no motivation no inspiration to get them done i have read all the self-help books i know like i said i am a life coach i i know all the tools <laughs> i have all the resources to pull myself to self-coach myself but for some reason, I just was not able to get out of that stagnant place. And he basically was telling the person that he was talking to, like, your life is comfortable, right? So, and I had to really think about it. I'm like, wow, when I, when I was so ambitious, when I was so goal-oriented, when I was boom, 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 I was more in survival mode, right? I was more survival mode. I was a single mother, making sure my kids was good. You know, I, I was taking care of them by myself. Like I, I, my motivation then was then. My motivation then was making sure they wanted for nothing. My motivation then was finishing college. My motivation then was going, working two jobs and going to school, making sure like I didn't become a statistic, me making sure that I accomplished all the goals that I set for myself and have my kids proud of me. Like that was, <laughs> that was my urgency. That was my why pretty much, right? So, you know, I now I've built a life. Me and um, my partner, we've built a life that is so it's become just peaceful, right? We built a beautiful life. We're in a beautiful home. We have two beautiful kids. I am uh, <laughs> expecting now, I'm five months pregnant. Um, no financial issues. We're such at peace. And basically he was saying how you can make your, which is a beautiful thing, right? You make your life so comfortable where now you just don't have the urgency to do anything and I'm just it just hit me so hard and I was just like whoa I, it, it hit me and I was like that is it so basically okay so it says life is you know too comfortable you made your life too comfortable which is nothing is wrong with it um but that is what takes away your drive and your motivation and then he says um pretty much let's see okay so he basically said when your drive goes away you have to create new reasons for, you know, for you to have more drive, more ambition. He also says if we don't actively use our drive, we don't actively put ourselves in uncomfortable situation, that drive slowly dies. And 
excuse me, that is exactly how I felt. That's exactly how I was feeling. I was just feel, you know, you just feel off, but us being a human being, you just life is just about growing. You always want to strive for more. You always want to continue to grow. And so when we're not growing and we feel stagnant, that's what makes us feel like we're out of alignment. That's what makes us feel like we're not living in our purpose because we're here to constantly grow. Even though I've worked my ass off to have such a beautiful, comfortable life, it's like, okay, that's great. Now it's time for your next level. Now I will say the, when you do create your beautiful life, I'm, you know how people say like, just take a moment and thank God that you're in a, a answer prayer. I've taken, you know, make sure you do that because I have taken time to just really thank God. Like, thank you. Like I am in an answer prayer right now. I, I manifested this life that I have right now. And it's like, once you get here though, you need to sit in and you need a basket, you need to thank God, you need to be grateful. But then you also need to realize that you also continue, you have to continue to grow. You also have to continue to strive to do better things, bigger things. That's just life. And I, I think a lot of people don't, don't like that, but that's just a part of life. That's just a part of us being human. We have to, we continue to grow. We have to continue to strive for new things, continue to push for new goals. And that's okay. So he, you know, pretty much was just telling us like, you have to find new things that just, that, that pulls that drive out of you. So you have to pretty much find a new why. You have to do things that are extremely hard to get yourself out of your comfort zone. So he, you know, basically saying how we have to push ourselves to the edge. Um, and those, and that is the feeling where we're like, you, but you have to keep going. So when you feel like you're at the edge, do not turn back. Keep pushing yourself to keep going. And you know, you're you're gonna bet you're gonna get back to that motivation and that inspiration to to feel like you can do new things, you can do hard things. And that's where I'm at. And I had to really just sit and think about what are goals, what are the goals that I know that are crazy big for me, but I know it will push me out of my comfort zone and help me to grow. And one of them is building my YouTube, um, <laughs> which I'm on right now. Building a YouTube channel, <laughs> that has been a goal of mine for forever. But the thing, it, ca it, it, it causes you to really sit with yourself. It causes you really to see things about yourself that you're not ready for. It causes yourself to really open your open yourself up to criticism from others critique you know critiques from others and you know you just have to be in that mindset like no I have to do this for me because this is something that God is calling me to do this is something that I think about daily right so doing that me continuing with my life coaching program taking that off hold because I put that on hold for a minute um after the pandemic because it was just so heavy on me and i needed to make sure i was good just getting back to that you know like doing more of the wellness my wellness practices that i absolutely love and want to share with others so i just i i you know i really want you to just really just just pick out three big goals that you know that's going to take you out of your comfort zone and make you really uh just work for the you know work for those things nothing that's no nothing that's crazy easy something that's really going to just push you out of your comfort zone but the, you know those are the desires of your heart you know the god is telling you to do it it's something that you think about daily i want you to really take those goals and really make the action plan and action steps to really get them done Okay, so I also heard heard this quote from um, someone on Instagram, and she said uh, she lives in the end result. So that's pretty much goes back to you embodying, you know, who you are and what you want to do. So I hope that this video helped you or touched you in some sort of way. This is a quick video, but I really had that message on my heart. I really hope this helped you in some sort of way. Please remember to write down those goals. Write down those, pick three hard goals, y'all. Stick to them. Don't stop until you get it done. Um, you can do it. It's going to push you back out of your comfort zone. It's going to strive. It's going to make you grow. It's going to make you strive to continue to do all that you can do and all that you can be and all that, guys. My camera went dead on me, but in closing, I pray to God that you 
Um, just set your mind, whatever you set your mind to do, you can do it. Always remember that the desires that God has placed on your heart, that you, you already have the capacity, you already have the resources to fulfill them. We just have to trust ourselves that we can do it. Um, I have faith in you. Um, and God has already given you the, you know, the ability to conquer all the goals that you have. Um, I hope this video, uh, helps someone. I love you guys so much. And until next time, next time, remember that you matter. Love you. Mwah.